My name is Scott Bauer, and I've been a trader at the Options Exchange and at the Merck for almost 20 years. Uh, what year did I start? I, I was brought down to the floor of the SIBO back in 1991, uh, a couple of years out of college. I got the job from a friend of mine who I had played baseball with. Uh, I had played baseball with some guys uh, through college that were a little bit older than me that had been successful traders on the floor and uh, one of my buddies was hounding and hounding and hounding me to come down and he'll uh, teach me the business and I never wanted to and then I got engaged, bought a house and figured well now's the time to do it if I'm ever going to do it before I settle down. So uh, that was back in 91 and uh, you know it's been almost 20 years now. My first impression of the trading floor uh, actually, I had been a runner for one day when I was 16 years old uh, in high school. I took a job, a summer clerk job at the Merck, came down to the floor and hated it. Was completely overwhelmed. How could anybody do this? It's nerve wracking. Hated it. And then lo and behold, six years later, that, uh, that, that was the start of my profession for the, hopefully the rest of my life. Uh, most memorable moment on the floor probably had to be uh, the day that at the CBOE nobody was trading Amazon options. This was back in, I believe, 1997 when the, uh, the internet craze first started and people were afraid to trade these internet stocks. They were moving around like nobody had ever seen stocks move before. Floor officials uh, put out a page that they needed traders to come trade in the Amazon pit and out of the hundreds and hundreds of traders on the floor, I was the only one that responded to it. Went over, started trading Amazon, and I was literally the only Amazon trader in the world, option trader, for about three months, because this was before the advent of dual list and triple list and every exchange listing, every equity, and I was the only one that traded it, and uh, it was probably one of the best things that, that's happened in my uh, in my business career. That's for sure. Uh, most important thing that a trader needs to uh, you know really feel and know on the floor as a trader is, in my opinion, you go out and you try and hit bunts, you try and hit singles. Don't swing for the fences. I've seen too many people that have uh, you know one day, one week, one month hit it out of the park and the next month they're looking for a new backer. Uh, my motto has and always will be, and everybody I've always taught is bunt, 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 and at the end of the day, I think you're ahead of the ball game. Uh, you just have to remember that uh, bulls and bears prosper, pigs go to the slaughter. That was one thing that my, uh, my mentor taught me from day one, and I hold that near and dear to my heart uh, just to this day. Funniest memory? <coughs> probably heard a couple of these before, but uh, this had to do with one of the clerks, summer, uh, summer clerk that was down uh, working for his uncle, probably 17, 18 years old, and he was challenged to eat three gallons of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, in a 20 minute span. Got through the first one, no problem. Second one, it was... Uh, getting a little rough, and he was about 16, 17 minutes in. Took two spoonfuls of that third one, history. It was all out. It was all over the place. This was on the trading floor where, at that point, drinks, food, nothing was allowed on the floor. Everyone got fined if you were caught, and this guy just projectiled everything he had probably eaten for the last five days all over the place. I mean. It, it, it was it was very funny. It was very very funny. Uh, favorite charities. Love being part of any kind of philanthropy, any kind of charitable organization that has to do with kids. Uh, JDRF, Juvenile Diabetes Foundation, Kids for Kids, Children's Memorial Hospital. Uh, personally, I'm very active in all of those and I'm very supportive of all of those. Thanks for your time.